We are heading north after the main Japanese force. There are at least four Japanese carriers out there that we want eradicated from this theater. The centerpiece of the task force is the carrier Zukaku. She's an old friend of ours, the last remaining carrier that was involved in the attack on Pearl. Once you find that fleet, it's a free fire zone. Sink as many Japanese ships as you can, but be on the lookout for Japanese strike planes sent in retaliation against our fleet. Even though the ranks of their aviators have been depleted by recent battles, the Japs have some lethal new fighter types in service, so stay alert and watch your back. Formation. Roger that. Formed up, sir. Protect the carriers 
at all costs, even if you have to bump them out of the way yourself. Help. Attack my target. Roger. Bombers targeted. Jet must like you. He's tight on your tail.
bombing run. Okay, moving in to attack ships. We were on a roll. We had the Japs on the run and we weren't gonna stop till we bombed Tokyo to hell. While the rest of the guys were celebrating, I could only think of one thing, that Shun Agawa, the squadron leader of the 13th, would somehow escape. One night there was a knock on my door. It was the Admiral. He'd had a visit from one of the other pilots, Mike Canning. Mike had admitted to sabotaging my plane after we sank the Shoho. He said he wanted to knock me down a peg or two on the kills board and that he was sorry. He got off lightly, but he was going to be peeling potatoes for the rest of the war. The Admiral also said he had something for me. It was a crumpled letter that he'd gotten unofficially. The letter was from the 13th Squadron, and it was addressed to me. It seemed that while I was after them, they were after me. I opened the letter. There were just two words on it, Iwo Jima. It was from Shunagawa, the leader of the 13th Squadron. I would get my wish, a chance to fly against Agawa and avenge my brother. If the turkey shoot was a disaster for Jap pilots, then the Battle of Lady Gulf was a disaster for their whole navy. When we landed on Lady Island in the Philippines, the remains of the Japanese fleet sailed to meet us for the final great naval battle of the war. The Japanese navy was outclassed and the battle was a decisive victory for the US. Even so, the kamikaze attacks did a huge amount of damage, not all of it physical. The kamikaze sank over 15 US ships in the Philippines. Over the entire war, the kamikaze sank 40 ships. When the Battle of Lady Gulf was over, we'd sunk the biggest ship I'd ever seen, their super battleship Musashi. We also sunk the carrier Zukaku, the final survivor of the Pearl Harbor attack. In all, the Japs lost 10 times as many ships and planes as us. With their defeat at the Battle of Lady Gulf, the Japanese Navy was finished. <laughs> 